I'm Nina Perlov and today I was going to talk a little bit quickly about tonguing in the lower register which always seems harder because our airspeed is slightly slower in the lower register and it just seems harder to get that air to kick out and stay coordinated with the tonguing motion. Now in reality the tongue doesn't move any faster or slower whether we're playing high notes or low notes so why is it so hard? So one trick that I want to have you think about is how you're pushing the air out as you play in the lower register. Because what happens is, sometimes it's hard to get those notes to speak, so what we do is we try to blow harder and blow more. And it doesn't always work. For example, if you're having trouble, and some of you may recognize this as the Enesco Cantabile and Presto. So those didn't sound very good. The air just wasn't sort of attaching to that articulation gesture, and it was getting very fuzzy and airy. And the more I blow to try to compensate for it, the worse it gets. Yuck, 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 yuck. I have spent many hours of my flutist life pulling my hair out over those kinds of notes. So, here's something that I've learned that I find very helpful. Don't blow out. Instead, imagine that you are sucking the air in as you play, and the sound is resonating inside your body, inside your head, and not out there. That's not where the note sounds. It's here. Doga, 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 doga. So suck the notes in. Now you may notice I used a little bit of a cheat. On that first low D, I popped my third finger on the left hand just a little bit. You hear how it makes the sound come out without even blowing at all? So sometimes when you start a first note in the low register, it's okay to do a gentle pop. Try not to overdo it so it, you don't want it to sound vulgar like ba da 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 now don't ignore that low D when you have an octave leap. It's easy to get set into the middle register and then lose the lower one. You want that note to speak. I'm going da da da, and for the low note, bringing the air in. Same thing when slurring, believe it or not, it's not just for tonguing. Here's another tricky spot. You want to get that low C to resonate, but don't do it by blowing out harder. Bring the air to you. I hope that helps. I'm going to talk a lot more about this concept of bringing the air in when you play rather than spitting it out, because it applies to pretty much everything I play. But that's a start to think about it for articulating your low register.